Hello, everyone. Did I just hear a Pokemon cry in the game? Anyways, hello everyone, Game Crazy here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. I need to quit saying Let's Play, because I said I'd stop that like a thousand times before. Anyways, this is a new route, so first time evolved Pokemon we find is ours. Same as usual. Uh, hello Swampert. You are evolved. Fully evolved at that. Uh, actually, what kind of balls do I have? I really should check these things. I have six Pokeballs, five Great Balls, and a Premier Ball. Uh, hopefully we don't run into anything with a crappy catch rate. Or maybe we could just keep running into Swamp Birds, that's cool. Hey, Louie Colo! Um, I may have to re-randomize this route. Okay, yeah, it's looking like that because I'm seriously running into all Stage 3 Pokemon. This is actually kind of entertaining. This would be a gr great place to have trained. Silcoon. Um, you're evolved, though I could catch you, but I kind of don't want to. Oh my god, Articunos. Okay, yeah, uh... So I'm going to stop the recording here, and I'm going to re-randomize this game, because this route is crap, as it stands for my rules. Uh, so, I'll be right back. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot to say this before I hit stop recording, but uh, I'm just going to come back whenever I find a Pokemon that's good. So, yeah. Hey, you fit my rules. So, okay, uh, we ran into a shelter. That's... I don't know, that's nice. We got a water ice type combination and we get a backup for Okay, come on, just hypnosis the thing toaster. Oh that's nice, supersonic. So anyways, like I said, we get a backup for uh Ice Mario should he faint in uh, in terms of ice type. Oh come on, toaster, hit the thing. Well at least it's upping its defense because ghost types are for some odd reason called physical in this generation. Don't ask me why, just know that it's like that. So, you should be able to survive a lake. You can probably also survive a rock smash, that'd probably be a bit safer. Oh yeah, you can definitely survive some rock smashes. This may even lower your defense down a little bit, which will slowly but surely help me catch you. Shadow woke up! Oh my god, another supersonic. This is gonna be so annoying by the end of the- I'm gonna have everyone just getting confused all the time. Come on, Hypnosis Toaster. Toaster! Your tackle doesn't affect me. Good job, Toaster, you're not confused. Just keep putting the shelter to sleep. Yeah, oh man, who is this going to be named after? Um, let's see, my last name was, I think, Lucagen? Or was it... Uh... No, actually, it was Super Genius. So, this one is going to be... I really don't know who I want to go on to. Thank you for stepping out of your confusion. Um, I'm going to think on this, because this battle is going to take a while, anyway. But I'm going to hyperspeed through it. Alright, uh... Great ball. Uh... Sure, okay, that's what I'll go with. Okay, we got a Shelter. Shelter is a bivalve Pokemon. At night, it burrows into a hole in the seafloor with its broad tongue to make a place for its 
to sleep. While asleep, it closes its shell but leaves its tongue hanging out. Nickname the shelter? Heck yeah, this is a Nuzlocke, we gotta do it. So... Yeah, let's name this after Slim. Slim Kirby, if you don't know. So, Slim, you are a shelter. Congratulations. Uh, that was actually the second Pokemon I ran into. The first one was a Hitmonchan, which I was like, oh yay, then I remembered. Oh yeah, you're a Oh my god, a Squirtle. I could have had a Squirtle. <laughs> that makes me mad. I, that Squirtle would have been awesome. A Squirtle would have been awesome. <laughs> my LP is going to be the complete opposite of Lucky. If Lucky runs into every starter, I run into like none of them. Other than Weirdo. Anyway, so uh, let's use Genius. I don't know if this guy has, uh... If this guy has ground types with him, on him, that he's using, or if he's just not... I really don't know. I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. Um, Ten bucks says he's gonna cry if we talk to him after we beat him. Hey, he's got a Nuzleaf in the Nuzlocke. I actually would have liked to have gotten a seed out earlier, just because it'd be like, yeah, we got a Nuzleaf, and this is a Nuzlocke, so... It just seems so fitting. Yeah, that's really all I was going <laughs> Where the only place I was going with that. I'm using Super Genius, and I'm having his awkwardness right now. Wow. Okay, Super Genius, go to level 23! Nothing. Uh, I think he's like... It's something in the 30s or 40s where he evolves, so we are not getting him to Rapidash anytime soon. Um, Proton John, just because you should be good against practically everything here. Hello. When you're out on a picnic, why well, you simply have to sing? Come on, sing with me. No, never. Never in a thousand years. So anyways, Taylo, that's... something. Proton John, Psybeam. I still need to look for that cheat code to make Proton John evolve through leveling up. Or to force any Pokemon to evolve by leveling up, because I'm pretty sure there is a cheat code like that. So, okay, he's got a Lombre as well. That's also nothing for Proton John. Practically anything is nothing for Proton John at this point. I almost feel bad for kind of dumping Super LP here, but I mean, it's a Kadabra. I'll probably use uh, Super LP here every now and then. So, so. If you're watching, don't feel like, oh no, I'm never going to be used again. I, I'm going to try and get let everyone be used a little bit. Hello! I even would have had that Smeargle used if I had caught it. As annoying as that would have been. Of all the things he could copy, or you sketch on, he sketches Hypnosis. So anyways, uh... This is just another hiker, he's probably just got all, uh, geodudes and stuff like that. Your typical hiker affair. So, pretty much free experience for a weirdo. Weirdo Girdle level 23. And another geodude? Yep. Of course. So, we're going in again. And we defeated Trent. Ouch, my legs cramped up. Sucks to be you. Uh, can you grab some bandages from my backpack? No, that's my Pokemon. We'll find I'll register you. I... Whatever. Anyways, uh, you'll notice Team Magma's blocking that path up there. We have to go do something first, before they're even going to get out of the way, so I'm not even going to bother. What that? 
Okay, so... Oh, not bite. Oh, well. Flinch, please? Nope. As long as I don't get burned. Yeah, I'm fine with this. So, let's... Oh, yeah, this is a new recording session. I was all derp. I thought this was, uh... Still an old recording session from before. Actually, no, wait. Wait, I should have that in there, somewhere. Okay, okay, yeah. That's how far I have to go. Alright. I just kind of lost track of how far I need to make this episode to be about 15 minutes, so... <laughs> I was worried there for a bit. Anyways, there's that hiker. And Team Magma's blocking us, so we can't really do anything. Spoilers, there, Team Magma. We haven't really seen that in the story. But anyways, this is Fiery Path. We get a new Pokemon here. Uh, yet again, let's go on to Toaster and I guess get Lucky ready. He's already ready. Anyways, on here we get an item that I want for Eevee. Uh, or Nintendo, okay, well there's our Pokemon, we get a Wismer. This actually would have been good for Kur for Slim Kirby, because it's pink. Anyways, uh, next up here. I forgot Donna Bells, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, this is going to be named Donna then. I just completely skipped over her. So, return toaster, go lucky. Sonic Boom! Oh, this thing has some nice HP, too. Granted, it is level 15. So, now we have another choice for normal type. That's okay by me. And this Pokeball should easily catch it. I mean, it's asleep. It's a Pokemon you normally find when you have Pokeballs only. And it's in the red health. Yeah. Okay, so we got a Whismur! Its cries equal a jet plane in volume and inhales through its ear canals. Because of this system, it can cry continually without having to catch its breath. Uh, yes, I want to give a nickname to Whismur. You will be known as Donna Bells. Or Donna, in this case. Because I kind of forget how to spell the last part of Donna Bells. Without, having look without looking at it, to be completely honest. I am a bad Donna Bells fan. <laughs> Alright, uh... We don't have strength yet, do we? Strength? No, we don't. And part of me kind of forgets where I get it, so I'm just going to go on. But over there is a uh, Firestone that we're going to want for Eevee. I know you guys are probably like, no, don't... Ooh, you. Anyways, like I was saying, I know you guys are probably just like, oh no, don't evolve it into Flareon. Flareon sucks. Well... I kind of like I kind of like to have another bonus fire type, even if it is kind of junky by most people's. Oh, of course you have synchronized by most people. What they, by what most people say. Oh, a lumberry. You just killed yourself with curse. Genius Mew there. Alright, um John. Now anyways, uh this next route. I'm gonna kinda hold off on going in the grass in this area because this is Route 112. You may not know this, but a route we were previously on was also called Route 112. So, I'm kind of going to let you guys decide, uh, should this route get a Pokemon? Because it is separated on all sides. Uh, uh, since this is randomized, it will have a random Pokemon. Though, uh, they're the same random Pokemon that will be found on the other route. Uh, <coughs> ah, got my throat. Anyways, like I said, uh, I'm going to let you, I'm just going to let you guys decide. 
And uh, that's it for this episode. So after I pick this last berry, I'll see you guys next time for Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke, where I shall continue on this way and avoid catching any and avoid being in the grass. See you next time. Bye.